In order to replace fossil fuels as our main fuel source, we will have to generate power from every renewable source that we can. Not one source in the future will be able to take precedent. They all have comp complementary strengths and weaknesses. Neither will there be one single storage method, which is paired with renewables. Storage will be one of the most exciting new frontiers of energy, however, as the majority of renewable power sources are temporally unreliable. I think, in the greater future, that these challenges will be solved by a single source of energy and storage combined. Fusion. Fusion is the most promising energy source in the universe but it will take time to hash out. A fusion reactor can act as an energy producer, energy battery, and an alchemical manufactory. Especially with the future advent of microfusion reactors, the capability of complex devices will skyrocket. One might be wondering how a fusion reactor could act as a battery. A fusion reactor will eventually be able to have a stored amount of fuel, which can literally be anything regarding, of course, that it can be fused in the reactor, which can be fused on command, making it a battery. The byproduct of fusion is more dense nuclei, which can be used to create new materials. So say every time your iPhone is on and using power, it produces an excrement of some product, which could be used for anything. Some fusion reactors will be built not to produce energy, but to make new materials, say gold, for instance, or silicon, or maybe even more complex molecules. Literally anything can be fused to form anything else. This method could even be used to fuse our way to the stars, using an Alcubierre drive-style compression expansion system. I believe right now that the biggest reason that fusion has not been realized in a usable form is our dead set belief in the importance of extreme heat to produce fusion. Our rationale for this is that if collisions of nuclei is what causes fusion and that heat is average kinetic energy, then the faster that atoms in a fusion reactor are moving, the more likely collisions are to happen and the more likely fusion is to happen. This is why we strive to create fusion reactors which are extremely hot. Temperatures that are many times hotter than even the center of the sun. But through my understanding and learning, I have developed a theory of heat, which goes further than just to say that heat is the average kinetic energy of a system. In this theory, when an object has more than its surroundings and is in the process of releasing that, it is hot. It has heat. This release is where the idea of kinetic energy is in play because an object will be moving faster and towards colder areas. One extremely important aspect of this theory is that electricity is also a form of heat, a differential which is mediated through a wire that connects points opposed to simply connecting its surroundings. Electricity is also at a certain scale with electrons, but it's essentially just a form of heat. How can we profit from fusion? Fusion, in essence, is energy production from the compression of matter. This works best when the matter that is being pushed together can get to the point where its core, its nuclei, are very attracted to each other, to the point where the stuff that is ordinarily surrounding and separating the cores from other cores is pushed out as energy. All energy really is is a relative quality of the motion of matter. There are no energy particles, but there are small, less massive, and more motionable particles, which are more usable to change things. By making our fusion reactors so hot, we have been putting in more of these surrounding small particles, which cause barriers, even though these are the particles which we want to take out. So I propose a method in which a sturdy heat conductive container is pumped with the fluid, say hydrogen gas, water, or air, most likely hydrogen as it is the easiest to fuse at first, and that sub subsequent compression causes heat by pushing in more cores, nuclei, than there is space, 
pushing out the smaller surrounding particles. Those surrounding particles will then be captured through the container and converted directly into electricity using my new conceptions of heat and electricity. If all these variables can be balanced to create more energy than was put in, this system could work. Fusion really does utilize an essential principle of the universe. It uses the inherent attraction between everything to push out smaller, more emotional particles, which can be used. Fusion is what all the stars and other celestial bodies do, but they are fusing to become more compressed as much as they are to push out energy. This is a tactic that a model after this would likely bring fruit. Thank you.